ChatGPT. Maybe you've heard of it. If you haven't, then get ready, because this promises to be the viral sensation that could completely reset how we do things. Are we done talking about recession? I think so, because the whole world is talking about something else, which is ChatGPT, which has become social media's latest favorite tool for getting answers online. So what is ChatGPT? Not sure if you heard it or not. Let me tell you quickly what is ChatGPT and why everyone is talking about it and few are worried about it. ChatGPT is a prototype dialogue based AI chatbot capable of understanding natural human language and generating detailed human-like written text. In simple language, it's a chatbot that can answer all your questions. How I see it, instead of going to Google to search for anything, you may have to go to several pages to read the information. But now with ChatGPT, you don't need to read several websites or blog, but you can get your answer in one place just then and there, which I will show you in a demo. This tool has impressed experts with its writing ability, proficiency at complex tasks, and ease of use. It is trained by AI and machine learning on a huge sample of text taken from the internet. By the way, do you know that Elon Musk is the co-founder of OpenAI? Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. Today's video is going to be quite interesting for people who want to know how the new technology and tools are going to change the job market in the next 5 to 10 years. So, if this topic is of any good to you, make sure to keep watching the video till the end. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's video. Agenda 1. How is the world reacting to chat GPT? Who sees this as a threat? Personally, I think Google sees chat GPT as the biggest threat and this is a report so far. In December 2022, Google internally expressed alarm at the unexpected strength of ChatGPT and the newly discovered potential of large language models to disrupt the search engine business. And CEO Sundar Pichai upended and reassigned teams within multiple departments to aid in its artificial intelligence products, according to the New York Times. Agenda 2. Let's see a demo of how it works and where it doesn't give any results. This is the website which you need to click, which is chat.open ai.com forward slash chat so once you have registered or you have signed in you will be seeing this page where they have given you examples which is really good explain quantum computing in simple terms or anything else you can see their capabilities and you can also see their limitation which is good to know because they have a limited information even after 2021 so anything with the future information they may not be able to give you the right information which is important for you guys to know so for example, uh, if you want to create a website, so you can simply write how to create a website. <clears throat> so based on whatever you are typing, you will see the results here and you can follow the instruction. And uh, say you are a blogger and you write blog about tourism, for example, uh, places to visit in London. So you can just write there and you can create your own post. For example, top 10 places to visit in London. <clears throat> so here you go. So you can see the top 10 places which you need to see in London. And if at all you want more information on any of the points, say this one. I'm going to just copy paste here and write more details. So here you go. Now in the same fashion, you can use any question and use that information either to make your blog or YouTube video or to even run your own business or even create your own websites or do anything now let me show you what chat gpt cannot do uh, say i'm going to ask will it snow in london next week so here you can see the answer they will not be able to tell that because they don't have the information their uh, knowledge base is only till 2021 so anything to do with the future data, you may not get the correct information. So just be a little mindful about it. 
That's all for the demo. Agenda three, what do I think? Personally, I believe none of the jobs will be gone so soon, irrespective of whatever domain or industry it is. I think maybe the number of jobs will be reduced or cut down, but none of the jobs will go down to zero. Here is a list of jobs that I think will be reduced in the future. And hence, if you are in this field, make sure you start learning new skills and analyze the market and switch to a better career as per the trends. Number one, bloggers. I see people will hire fewer bloggers in the future as they can use ChatGPT to generate articles to be used on their website. Number two, call center representative jobs will be reduced as they can use ChatGPT extensively. A lot of companies had already started using chatbots and now with the success of ChatGPT, companies will take more advantage of it. Number three, retail staff. As you know, Amazon Fresh launched its store without any retail agent. There will be more and more retailers who will be trialing this concept soon. So automation may be the new future. Number four, I see personal assistant jobs being reduced significantly. Number five, scriptwriters job may be reduced as well. But these are just few examples which I can think of. Now, here is a list of jobs which will be in more demand in the future. Number one, artificial intelligence. Number two, machine learning. Number three, cloud computing. Number four, DevOps. Number five, basic programming skills like Java, C++, Python, C Sharp. Number six, UI, UX designs. Number seven, video editing. Number eight, medical jobs or any jobs which cannot remove humans like doctors, nurses and healthcare staff. Now, let me tell you where you cannot use ChatGPT. You should not use it to find data after 2021 as the ChatGPT got limited knowledge of the world after 2021. Agenda 4. How you can use ChatGPT to increase your income right away. You guys can enhance your productivity 10 times more from ChatGPT irrespective of any job you are in now and due to the extra time you are left with, you can take more ad hoc jobs than you can do today. So first option that I can see is you can start freelancing. There are plenty of freelancing remote jobs available like graphic designing, digital marketing, financial support, right Editing, editing, proofreading, photography, videography, data entry jobs, software programming, beta testing, or even website design. In fact, ChatGPT has been getting praise for its ability to generate well-written code. All you programmers can copy the main code and just enhance it as per your need. Second option, you can start your blogging post where you can search for a topic and get a full script from ChatGPT. Once your blogging channel is monetized, you can start earning money from it. Third option, you can start your YouTube channel and get your script layout from ChatGPT. Say you want to start your tutorial channel or finance or investment, just add the topic on ChatGPT to get the high level information so that you can add some details to it and create a video out of it. Once your channel is monetized, you can start earning from YouTube. The most important thing is that you need to find a niche for your channel and be consistent. Fourth option, you can create eBooks and sell them on Amazon KDP or any online website. Before I conclude this video, I wanted to say, instead of seeing ChatGPT as a threat, start using it today as it's so simple and user-friendly and increases your efficiency. Personally, I have started using it now and I see it as an alternative to Google because it is capable of providing descriptions, answers, and solutions to complex questions, including ways to write code and solve layout problems and optimization queries. A few of my friends started using it to generate content for web sites, answer customer inquiries, provide recommendation, as well as to create automated chatbots. We don't know what the future will look like. There has been speculations that professions dependent upon content production could be rendered outdated, including everything from writers and professors to programmers and journalists. However, at its current stage, the ChatGPT lacks the distinction, critical thinking skills, or ethical decision-making ability that are essential for so many jobs. So instead of worrying too much about the future, use this time to take advantage of ChatGPT and of course, learn new skills which will be in huge demand in the future. So on that note, I'm signing off and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.